I'm Major General Diana Holland, Commanding General of the Mississippi Valley Division, headquartered in downtown Vicksburg, Mississippi. I want to highlight the innovations used by the Mississippi Valley Division as we have delivered our program for the benefit of our citizens and our economy. Right over there, you have the mighty Mississippi River. That river is strong and dynamic. America has tried to tame it for decades, building and modifying levee networks to protect our homes, land, and towns. The Great Flood of 1927 brought devastation to the basin and led to the Flood Control Act of 1928. This was the birth of the Mississippi Rivers and Tributaries Project, known as the MRNT. At that time, the Chief of Engineers, General Edgar Jadwin, told Congress that we needed a laboratory that would support the study of the Mississippi River and that it should be located on the Mississippi River. The birth of the MRNT and the Waterways Experiment Station, now known as ERDIC, occurred nearly simultaneously. Today, the MRNT project stands as an enormous accomplishment of USACE innovation for flood risk management, navigation, and environmental health of the country's biggest river. We delivered it with you, engineers, scientists, academics, and contractors. We at the Mississippi Valley Division work closely with ERDIC, state, and federal partners to restore habitat and measure the health of the Mississippi River. We invest in improving our tools for measuring changes in the river from numerical models that can take advantage of high-performance computing power to state-of-the-art field data collection techniques. We want to know how the river has changed and is expected to change into the future to inform our water management decisions. One innovation I would like to highlight is Armor One, which will replace the mat sinking unit that has been in operation in the valley since 1948. It is a one-of-a-kind capability. The mat sinking unit places thousands of miles of concrete revetment along the Mississippi River. This hidden infrastructure keeps the bank stabilized for navigation and protects the levees and other infrastructure along its course. This prevents the river from meandering as it has done for millennia. Armor One will be much safer, more efficient, and more reliable than the existing unit. The laying of revetment with Armor One will go from 2,000 squares to 4,000 squares per day. We will be able to decrease manual labor and annual maintenance costs. This will make our work safer, more efficient, and more dependable into the future. We anticipate Armor One to be fully operational in 2023. The Corps will continue to deliver the program because to us, winning means finishing quality projects on time and within budget safely, essay ons and building strong.